Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, I'm going to show you a very cool way of doing drive cloning in Windows for absolutely zero money, which is absolutely awesome. This is one of those programs which has been around for a long time, but people often forget about it, and actually, I did myself. And it wasn't until recently I was looking through my toolkit and seeing what I had, and this is the one that came up top. So, if you are looking to maybe clone a drive, if you're maybe getting a new NVMe, replacing a smaller version, and you want to do that, this works fine. If you're actually getting a larger drive and you want to put in a smaller drive, as long as the data is smaller, you can do this as well. This is a great piece of software, so let's head straight into it. Okay, so we're on our Windows 11 desktop. Now, I've actually installed an additional drive in here. So if we go into my computer, you can see we've got a blank disk here, local disk D, and we've got a main disk. So this is a two terabyte NVMe drive, PCI Express Gen 4. This one is a Gen 3, so I'm going to do a swap for some benchmarks I'm going to be doing at some point. So that is the drive we want to copy all of that information onto there and also make it bootable. So just so you know where we're at. Now, like I said, you can actually do if you've got a drive which is smaller. So as long as the drive that we're cloning to is less than the total data capacity of the used data on the drive you're coming from, then it's absolutely fine. So as you can see, we've got free space, 1.19 terabytes. So we've used under a terabyte. So I could probably clone this to a one terabyte drive rather than a two, but I don't have one of those on hand at the moment spare. So anyway, you get the general idea. So this is the company, so LazySoft, and they do basically uh, data protection, data recovery and all that kind of stuff, but they also do disk management suite as well. There is the complete suite, which you can download the whole thing. There is a free version of all of these pieces of software I'll be showing you today. So if you want to get a free version, you can do, although the paid versions are very, very inexpensive anyway, but Whichever you want to do, the choice is yours. So that is the recovery suite. You can do that. That is a bootable USB, which has got all the tools on for doing basically all we're going to be doing today and more. So if you want to do that, you can do. But we're going to head over to the download section. And you've got the options here. So this is the recovery suite. If we scroll down a bit more. You've got the, just the data recovery segment. Or you can do the disk imaging clone, Windows recovery, password, etc. So we're going to go back up. So we want the LazySoft Disk Image and Clone section. Now again, you've got various versions here. So a home license. So if you're a home user, you can install this up to three PCs, I believe it is, and it's completely free of charge. If you're a business user or a server edition you want, or an unlimited version, you can purchase a license. Again, they're relatively inexpensive for a business license at just under $20. But we're going to get the free one for demonstration purposes today. So just click on the download section here, and you see it's a very small file, only 40 megabytes. So we'll click on download. We'll save this to the Windows desktop. And now we can close this window because that is essentially done. So there is our installation EXE. So we'll double click on this. We'll get the user account control come up. You won't see it because it'll be a blank screen because I'm recording this actually in Windows, but you should see it. Just say yes to the user account control. So then we go into the language setup. So there's various options there. We'll choose English, click OK, and you can read through the agreement should you wish to. Click on Next and choose a location to install. I'm going to stick with the defaults for this particular demonstration. And um, we'll just go Next, Next, and Install. And again, pretty small program there, so it shouldn't take very long at all. At the end, you'll get the option to launch the application, which is exactly what we want to do. So I'm going to click on Finish and it will bring up the application. So it's very simple, very straightforward. There's not a great deal going on here. You've got options at the top here for drive imaging, drive cloning, disk tools, wizards, help, boot disk tools, etc. You can create a boot disk should you wish to. Uh, so you can actually clone drives in a Windows PE environment. But actually for today, what we want to do, we just want to do a drive clone. So you can either click on drive clone here at the top, or you can choose one of the options down the side there. You can clone partitions or the entire disk. So drive clone, again, just replicating what is down here. So let's do clone disk. So this is the important bit, finding out the actual source disk. So our source disk is our main Windows drive, which is in use currently. So that's absolutely fine. So we'll just click on the top here for our disk number one. And you can choose to do sector by sector copy, should you wish to. And that is going to take significantly longer and generally you want to drive of exactly the same size. Also, you can choose specific partitions if you just want maybe 
one or two partitions, depending on your drive usage. But I think for most people cloning, you just basically want to do the whole thing. So I'm going to click on Next. And now it's going to ask us for our destination disk. So our destination disk is going to be our new drive here. That one there. So you can see it's empty already. It has got some partitioning on it already because it's formatted in Windows. If your drive isn't formatted, it'll do all that for you. So don't have to worry too much about that. Obviously, when you're doing this, make sure you get your source and destination disks right. Otherwise, you will erase data. So click on Next. And it's going to ask you what you want to do. So this is the very cool part. So you can choose now. So copy without resizing partitions. So it's just going to do a complete copy and leave the partitions as they are. You can choose fit partitions to entire disk. So if the disk is larger, then it will stretch your partitions to fit the entire disk. Or you can choose shrink partition size on target disk. Being that our drive is marginally smaller, it isn't going to make a great deal of difference because it's going to be free space anyway. So we're just going to go along with that. If you do want to make it as small as possible, you can choose a shrink partition there. It'll take you down to 675 gigabytes for the actual drive we're copying. So choose whichever one makes more sense to you. Again, you can fill, fit, or just copy. So I'm just going to copy without resizing partitions. When you're happy, you can click on Next. So as you can see, this is an error which you may find if your disk is just slightly smaller. So it says target disk is too small. Please select fit partitions to entire disk. So it is going to help you with this. If you do something wrong, it's going to guide you through. So fit partitions to entire disk. And as you can see, that did move very slightly. So if we change that, you can see there's a very, very minor change there. But it's very clever, very intelligent, and it's going to help you out. And there's uh, not a lot of guesswork going on here. So click on Next. It's going to ask again, ready to clone, please confirm, because they want to be sure. So we're going to go from the source disk number one, we're going to go to destination disk number two, and basically when we're happy, click on start. So I'm going to click on start now, and again it's going to say, the data on the target disk will be overwritten, are you sure you want to? So there's lots of kind of prompts here, just in case you are doing something wrong, so if you haven't had enough coffee in the morning, and you're not fully awake, it's going to give you uh, plenty of chances to escape and rethink your situation. But I'm happy, so I'm going to click on OK. And now it's going to go through. It's going to lock the destination volume, which is very important. And obviously, whilst you're doing this, it's a really good idea not to be doing anything in the background. Don't be uh, running CSGO or something in the background. Just leave the computer. And ideally, if you can, close as many programs as possible before you start, uh, preferably. Obviously, so just don't try and do anything. Don't start opening windows and trying to send emails and stuff. Just leave the computer alone to do its thing. Uh, it'll be much happier if you do that. So it's going to give you a rough idea of how long it's going to take. At the moment, it's currently calculating. Again, we've got somewhere in a region of about 600 gigabytes here, I think it was, around that sort of thing. So it is going to take a little while, even though these are M.2 drives. It will be basically restricted by the speed of your computer. So you have the options here as well. So you can, if you want to, if it's going to go on for like hours and hours, which potentially it might do, you can choose to shut down the computer when the operation is completed. So if you just want to have it automated and for the PC to close itself down so you can go on up to bed and let the PC carry on overnight, then you can choose to do that if you want to. But again, otherwise, just uh, leave it, carry on. You can click on finish or back until this is completed. So the only options you have here are going to be cancel or help which cancel obviously you don't really want to do. It says here it's going to take about 40 minutes. So again, I'm going to leave this to carry on and we'll come back when it's finished. Okay, so we come to the end now. Actually, I was watching it. It went to about 97% or 96% and then suddenly jumped to 100. And it came up with this information saying the disk cloning operation was completed successfully. Just what we wanted to see. Please shut down the computer. Be sure to disconnect either the original hard drive or the target drive when you perform the first boot after creating your clone. If both the original and the target disks are connected to the computer at boot time, using either drive, Windows might attempt to boot from both drives and crash. Do you want to shut down now? So, no, not quite yet. So I'm gonna click on no, because we don't wanna close down. So that is effectively it, we're done and dusted. So this is actually a really nice little program. Our total elapsed time for the clone about 37 minutes. So yeah, not too bad at all. Enough time to go off and get some lunch or something and come back and the job is done. Now for a lot of people, you're probably gonna have a smaller disc anyway. So potentially it's gonna take 
considerably less because it's only going to copy the sectors which are actually used rather than doing a sector by sector copy. So yeah, overall pretty good. So we can click on finish now. As I said, there's lots of other things you can do actually within the software as well. So it's not limited to just drive cloning. You can actually create drive images. So you can convert a drive to an image. You can image to a drive. You can verify images and yeah, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to make backup images, you can do as well. So it's quite handy for that as well. So there we go, we're all done. Drive is cloned and I can get on and do some testing later on after this video. But I think this is a really good piece of software. It's very handy, very easy to use, and best of all, it's absolutely free and absolutely zero nagware, which is always a bonus these days in the market of free software. Generally, there is something which is not entirely free, i.e. they're trying to desperately get you to pay for the paid version, but with this, they don't seem to be. So let me know, have you used this yourself before, previously? If you have, let us know your experiences, or potentially, if you're going to be downloading this and using it, then do drop back to this video and let me know how you got on. I'd be very interested to hear. And do you find this better or faster or even slower than other things on the market, such as Macrium, which was the market leader for an extremely long time? I'd be very interested to hear your thoughts. But I think that's going to wrap this video up. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, smash that like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, then consider hitting the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.